हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर संदीप वालिया हेड ऑफ द डिपार्टमेंट यूनिवर्सिटी इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टूरिज्म एंड हॉस्पिटैलिटी मैनेजमेंट चंडीगढ़ यूनिवर्सिटी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द मॉड्यूल ऑफिशियल एयरलाइन गाइड्स कंसेप्ट मीनिंग एंड इम्पॉर्टेंस अंडर द पेपर एविएशन इंडस्ट्री टिकटिंग एंड फ्रंटियर फॉर्मेलिटीज आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग दिस मॉड्यूल द स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड वट इज ओ ए जी दे विल ऑल्सो बी एबल टू एक्सट्रैक्ट इन्फॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम ऑफिशियल एयरलाइन गाइड्स दे विल बी एबल टू डिजाइन एयर कनेक्शंस दे विल ऑल्सो बिकम फैमिलियर विद द कंसेप्ट ऑफ मिनिमम कनेक्टिंग टाइम डियर स्टूडेंट्स डिफरेंट एयर कैरियर इशूज their own timetable and information guides in form of small booklets the function of this timetable is to provide details about the timetable and schedules of the flights that they are operating handling so many multi timetable booklets and keeping a track of the flights is an uphill task as a solution a one single timetable of global airlines was conceived known as abc world airways guide let us discuss about the volumes of official airline guides some of the travel expert remark that in the acronym oag o stands for the globe whereas others refute saying that it is the short form of official represented by o the abc world airways guide or abc comprises of two separate volumes during the print and paper ticket era it was mandatory for all the agencies to have a copy of oag in their agencies it was as sacred as the bible for the travel fraternity it was irreplaceable because of the global availability and coverage its print schedule was monthly in two different volumes the first one is the blue oag worldwide city city schedules from a to m as this volume of the guide had all the airports from the alphabets a to m and was blue in color so it is known as blue a oag in day to day parlance the main sections in this volume are stop press information the last minute information just before publication contents are there to guide the reader to the desired section how to use detailed description of using the guide for planning itineraries it also contains air travel information this section will include details of codes of currency airlines city and airport etc the second one is the red oag that is the second volume or volume 2 or red oag and have the details from n to z as this volume had all the airports starting from alphabets n to z and has red in color that is why it is known as red oag in day to day parlance the main sections in this volume are worldwide city city schedules from the alphabets n to z Uh, then there are airlines feature section then the international car hire the next to this was the north american promotional fares then there is destination data or fare supplement students let us now discuss how to use this official airline guide this is the chapter with which the official airline guide open with discussing how to use post table of contents this section has all the details about the flight information for both parts of the guide it is the key and will explain all the codes of both volumes it will explain all the signage use and the airport codes flight codes flight numbers days of the week different types of aircrafts number of stops classes or services available on a particular flight 
departure and arrival times. The next one is the departure city. There is a prescribed way of reading flight schedules. The format used for city to city timetable is from to format. This from to is in inverted commas with from to in capital alphabets. The initial step is to search for the departure city which for easy tracking is printed in the bold typeface before the city from in the bold and smaller format is written. The city names are published in bold and is in English and follows alphabetic order. In case the city details are extended to mere than one page then the name of the departure city is repeated at the top of the each page on the upper left hand side of the scheduled listings. Selecting Chicago, ILUSA, CHI is an example where city is Chicago situated in the Illinois state in the country USA. One need not to worry about the decoding as it is provided in the journal information section of which the guide under the heads two letter state codes for IL and CHI is mentioned just after where Chicago is written. It is the three letter code of the city. Just beneath the city one can see the LT in inverted commas or the local time variation from the green which mean time applicable during the period of validity of the flight schedules shown in the guide. The inverted commas followed by a dot is mentioned from the airport and will be mentioned before all the airports of the particular city. In case a city is served by more than one airport the name and the relevant three letter code of the airport will be mentioned. In case the mentioned airports have multi terminals then a list of terminals along with the airlines or specific flights operating from that particular terminal is also mentioned. The information for each airport of the departure city is mentioned as airport name along with its three letter code when it is different from the city code like LHR or LON in capital alphabets or letters. Then the distance from the city center in miles or in kilometers to the box mentioned above shows that CHI or Chicago is served with six airports in total. O'Hare airport is served by six airports. O'Hare International Airport that is ORD is 17 miles or 27 kilometers from northwest of Chicago city. Then the midway in capital letters MW, MDW is 10 minutes or 16 kilometers southwest of Chicago. The locations of airports are mentioned from the city center. NW in capital letters denotes the northwest of Chicago and SW means southwest of Chicago city. The next one is the check-in times. This indicates the time before the flight that one has to report at the airport to complete the flying formalities. One has to report in advance before the schedule of the flight for the airlines as well as governmental formalities. Check-in time is mentioned in hours and in minutes. It will differ depending upon the airlines or even specific flights. The abbreviations commonly seen in this section are DOM in capital alphabets represent domestic flights, INT in capital alphabets or letters represents international flights, MINS depicts minutes, HRS means hours. Again for a multi-terminal airport the information is provided in a complete list in the journal information section. At the starting of the official airline guide under airport terminals. Then the next one is the rail. The head is for the surface transportation by rail. It informs the readers about the different terminals and surface transportation services between the city centers and airports. It will mention the average transportation times or the journey time. Check-in times at terminals in case it needs to be mentioned. The perfect example quoted here is CHI in capital letters has a subway elevated train services from downtown and the journey time is 35 minutes. It may have also information on the surface transportation services operated between the airports 
and neighboring cities which are served by the same airport. The next one is bus. The head here will be surface transportation by bus. In the above mentioned example, Greyhound Airport Express services are available from the cities mentioned in the example mentioned above. The next one is the destination city. After the departure city has been located to complete the itinerary, the destination needs to be checked out for. This will be again in an alphabetical order under the departure city. They will also be printed in bold interface. The city name is mentioned with its three letter code. In case several airports exist in the city, then the code and the name of each airport where arrival take place will be mentioned. The official airline guide contains all the flights and are, and are in direct or with stopovers. First, the direct flights will be mentioned and then the ones with transfer connections which will involve change of flights between the departure and destination city. It could be one or maybe many. Direct flights. The direct flights are mentioned first in the list provided that two in alphabetic order of departure. Each flight is listed on one single line except places where a special note application exists or applies. This note will appear on the line just below the flight details. The arrival and departure time top attract attention in bold letters and uses the 24 hour clock timings. The details of flights should be deciphered across the line starting from the left to the right. The next one is the validity. The dates which appear in this column indicates the first day that is from and the last day to of operations of the flight. If no date is mentioned then this can be interpreted as that the flight will operate from or during or up to the entire period of the validity. Then the, then the next is the days of service. The days of service means the days of the week and is represented by numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 where 1 stands for Monday and 7 stands for Sunday. So 2, 4, 6 means the flight operates on Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday respectively. The next one is the departure. This column indicates that the departure time from the departure city, this will be mentioned in the local time of the country. The time will be preceded by a three letter code of airport for cities which have more than one airport. For example, 1040 LHR means that the flight leaves London at 10 hours 40 minutes from the Heathrow airport. The next one is the arrival. This column indicates the arrival time at the destination in the local time of the destination. The time here too is preceded by the three letter airport codes for the cities which have more than one airport. This code is explained on the arrival city line. If the flight does not arrive on the same day, the following symbols are used. The symbol of star is used that means arrival on the next day. The symbol of plus is used that means the arrival of the flight on the third day. The sign of SS like dollar is used that the arrival of the flight will be on the fourth day. Then other sign that the arrival is on the previous day. For example, star 1815 SIN will indicate that a flight arrives at Singapore airport at 6 pm 15 hours of the next day. Then the second is the flight number. The flight number is divided into two parts, the two letter alphabetic code which is the ITA Airlines code and the second is the number. The airlines two letter codes are mentioned in the general information section, the head airlines designator of official airline guides. For example, AI111 informs the reader that it is Air India or Air India flight, triple one is the route number of the Air India Airlines. Next one is the aircraft. Aircraft or the type of equipment is also mentioned in the official airline guides. These are explained in the journal information section under the head 
aircraft codes. For example, 747 means that the equipment used for this flight is Boeing 747 aircraft. 767J, the J here stands for the pure jet and it means that it is 767 aircraft as the equipment. The next one is the class. The classes of service are also been mentioned and the bookings that are applicable. The codes are mentioned clearly in the how to use leaves at the start of official airline guides. For example, R stands for supersonic, P stands for first class premium, F stands for first class, A stands for first class discounted, Y stands for economy class. In the column named class, this symbol represents the flight is a shared designator or a code share flight which means that the airlines designator used in the number actually does not operate the flight. In the table section, shared airlines designator codes is also mentioned in the section of official airline guides in the head of journal information. The next one is the stops. After the direct flights, there are other flights mentioned which make an intermediate stops which are taken en route. Till the number 8 stopovers are mentioned, post which M in capital letters as a symbol is used which stands for multi-sector. Just under the head flight routings, the multi-sector flight routings is mentioned. The airline's two letter codes are laid down in alphabetical order and the flights in a numeric order. Non-stop flights are not mentioned here. In case any specific note or piece of information which is pertaining to that specific flight will proceed on the line immediately below the concerned flight. For example, US 2807 plane change at an intermediate point. It is also possible that the operations of a flight may be under the same number but may have a different route chart on different days of operation. This is mentioned in detail in the flight routing section in the official airline guides. For example, B in capital letters for British Airways, 009 LHR BKK SYD MEL until 25th March. That means 009 LHR BKK MEL AD day 4 and 7 and LHR BKK SYD BNE day 2 and 6. Followed to LHR BKK SYD MEL from 30th March. It is noteworthy to mention here that while reading the timetable, it is mandatory that the full line is read from left to right. The typeface or size of the font of ABC or AOAG guide is small, reason being that the volume of the guide has to be minimal. To make the following detail easy to read, use a ruler or a folded piece of paper or even a magnifying glass becomes very handy at this time. For an example, flight timetable of AMS Amsterdam to CHI Chicago will be picked up. Another example is flight KL611 shown on the first line operates from Monday to 7th Sunday. That means it leaves AMS Amsterdam at 11.15 hours and arrived at Ohare International Airport Chicago at 13.55 hours on the same day. It is operated by KLM. The aircraft used is 74M. It offers club class, business class and economy class and operates non-stop flights to Chicago. The next one is the transfer connection. The official airline guides or the ABC does not only provide the direct connections but also contain transfer connections. That is schedule of flights where change of flights will take place between the origin and destination which could be one or maybe many. Scarcity of space does not permit the publication of all the information. A travel executive can consult individual airlines timetable 2 to construct an itinerary by joining connections. 
it will depend on the transfer and the cities involved. The transfer connections are displayed in the second part of the listening, just under the thorough flights with the heading as transfer connection. In case the destination lack direct flights, then the information starts with the transfer connection. These transfers have to be done keeping in the mind the minimum connecting time, which is the time difference necessary to be maintained between the two connections. Transfer connections are published in two lines or maybe more which will depend on the number of the connecting flights. The flights follow a chronological order starting from the departure city then the transfer points and finally the destination. In this the times only of the departure and final destination will be mentioned in bold typeface rest of them are in normal font size. The flight information follow the same format as that of the direct flights. Airport codes are used to identify the transfer points and are also shown for multi-airport departure and arrival cities. Then the next one is the unpublished transfer connection. It is a possibility that official airline guides will not publish all transfer connection. Client may have his restrictions. Maybe he or she wants to travel on a particular day where not a single flight seems to be mentioned or the transfer available does not fit into the traveler's scheme of things. Under such a scenario, the travel executive has to work on a suitable itinerary and have to construct a transfer connection by the help of published flights. For the construction of a suitable itinerary and timetable, the information that needs to be gathered from the client is requested date, time of departure and or time of arrival, requested carrier, a specific wish or objection or restriction with regards to the possible transfer cities or airports. With this information at disposal, the executive can start up the job searching for thorough flights to the destination and from the selected transfer points. One has to keep in mind that minimum connecting time restrictions have to be respected. Minimum connecting time will depend on the carrier used, connecting points, terminals used and sometimes the class of journey too. Information on the minimum connecting time is available in the journal information section of the official airline guides under the head minimum connecting time. These times have to be adhered to the respected while planning and designing itineraries. The minimum connecting time take care of the average time needed for arrival and departure formalities as well as walking or inter-airport transfer time from arrival to departure areas. The minimum connecting time will take care of the average of minimum time required for arrival and departure formalities. Transportation time needed to departure areas or terminals of airports. Hence, we can conclude that the shortest time interval needed to transfer from one flight to the another or to the connecting flight is the minimum connecting time. Dear students, let us now summarize what we have discussed in this module. The business of aviation is a chain of several services or series which are clubbed together to make a end product or a final product. The official airline guides or the ABC guides helps the passenger to get to know the various formalities desired while one has to undertake a travel. Therefore, such booklets which contain information regarding several Procedures are of utmost importance to the travelers or the passengers. Nowadays, we have seen that the official airline guides or the IVC guides may have stopped coming in print, but it was and is and will be a tool for the travel fraternity. Reading information and extracting one for the traveler is easy and follows a sequence which is easy to follow. With these words, I sum up this module. Thank you.